Good morning. Welcome to my thought for the day. I was just thinking about how important it is that we keep our eyes on Jesus. I talked about this the other day uh, from Hebrews uh, 12. But I'm thinking of it in, in another aspect. Uh, many of you will know that I play in uh, two bands now. Um, with my bass clarinet and uh, I was at rehearsal last night and this morning I woke up thinking about the importance of keeping your eyes on the conductor because we had a couple of moments in our rehearsal when one or two members of the band um, either went too fast, got ahead of everybody else or they dragged uh, behind and they didn't watch the baton and uh, they slowed the whole piece down because, oh God, it's very difficult. If you get ahead of, you have to watch. That's quite tricky when you're trying to watch your music at the same time and play your instrument. But I was thinking about the importance of keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus. He is our example. He's shown us how to live. And we need to keep our eyes on him and to do the things that he did. He did this in his lifetime. He taught his disciples and then he sent them out. Um, first the, the 12 and then afterwards 70. And then at the Last Supper, when he washed his disciples' feet in John 13, he said to them, um, if I then your Lord and teacher have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I've given you an example that you should do as I've done to you. He washed his disciples' feet. He put a towel round his, round his waist and he knelt on the floor and he washed their feet. He served them. He blessed them with his service. And he set us an example. And just as, taking the band analogy, for the band to play well, Everyone needs to be keeping the same speed, uh, following the baton, doing their bit. Each one doing an individual thing, mostly different to anybody else, or sometimes different, quite, yeah, anyway, different, but harmoniously together, um, keeping with the conductor at his speed. And if, when he decides to slow something down, you have to slow down with him. So the individual is doing their, their bit, but corporately they're following the master and keeping in step with him. And this is what we need to do with Jesus. We need to, this is the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus in each of us, knows what he is going to accomplish today in the world. And we want to be in step with him so that we share in what God is doing. We don't get out of step with him and we find ourselves in the wrong place, doing the wrong thing, and not forwarding the work of the kingdom. Harmony is so important. Not uniformity, uni unity, but not uniformity. Because we are all different. We all have a different role to play. Uh, just as in my band, the different instruments sound differently, and they have often different parts to play. But the, the whole conveys the beauty of the music that was composed. And so it is with us that as we fix our eyes on Jesus, that lovely old chorus, turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. It, as we fix our eyes on Jesus, our priorities change. Uh, we're no longer thinking of ourselves as the only thing that matters in our lives, but we're thinking about the work of God in this world, what he is doing. And we prioritise our life differently because we have committed ourselves to him. And so having a heart like Jesus to serve those is very important. Jesus served he said, I've come among you as one who serves, not as one who lords it over you, but as one who serves. 
And this is the best path for us, is to, is to look for opportunities to serve other people. Look for other th opportunities to be helpful, for opportunities to, to help in church. If there are things that need doing, chairs that need putting out, um, things that need tidying, things that need putting away at the end of, 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 of a meeting or whatever, don't leave it to someone else to do. Of course, this doesn't, this sets aside, of course, the, there are those people who physically can't move chairs or can't carry things or, or whatever. But in the main, if you, if there's something that needs doing and you can do it, do it. Don't wait to be asked. Don't wait for somebody else to do it. If you see, if you see somebody who needs help, who needs assistance, who don't let yourself be the centre of your world. Let Jesus be the centre of your world. And as he is at the centre, you look at other people and other things with a completely different, with a completely different um, attitude, a different motive. You're not looking in everything that you do for what you can gain or how it can benefit you, but you're thinking, of the, of the work of the Lord, of other people, more than you're thinking of yourself. It's a change in attitude. It's very important. We live in a world that is very egocentric. And in, in, in the Christian life, we're not very important. <laughs> Jesus is very important. And other people are very important. And we, we come a long way down the list. And that change of priorities is very important as we adjust our lives to the change that Jesus makes in our lives when he takes us from being the center for Jesus to be the center. Let Jesus be the center of your life. Think about it today. If Jesus is the center of your life, how should your life change? How should your life change? There's a thought for the day. I'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.